Hey everybody, it's Dave from Polygon, and I'm playing some more Dark Souls 3. We're gonna fight the Crystal Sage, tell you how to beat him. Or her. Feels like a her to me. No surprise, it's a two-phase boss fight. This is the first phase, and your best strategy is to get up close and personal as quickly as possible to avoid the Crystal Sage's magic attacks, which are purple, and that's gonna be important really soon. Uh, there is a ton of magic, in fact, specifically crystal magic, that she'll sprout out. And then in between, after you take down her health enough, uh, she'll disappear, and these crystals will come up, and it's your job to locate where she is. The smartest way to do that is to get to the middle of the arena, which makes you sort of equidistant from any place she could possibly be. In the second phase of the battle, the Crystal Sage makes a bunch of copies of the Crystal Sage. I'm gonna set a world record for saying Crystal Sage. But you'll notice something as of right now. Uh, we're getting hit by two Crystal Sages that are fighting blue, firing blue magic. And in the distance, you can see a Crystal Sage firing purple magic. The purple one is the real Crystal Sage. The blue ones are the fakers. This also brings up another really important point that applies to this battle and really all of Dark Souls, which is use the environment to your advantage. You are no match out in the open against a ton of Crystal Sages, but if you take cover behind certain areas, the Crystal Sages magic can't get to you and you'll be safe. Another thing to point out, by the way, is that because the Crystal Sage relies heavily on magic damage, you want to equip a shield, if you have one, and armor, if you have it, that is resistant to magic damage. No matter what you're wearing, the object is the same. Take cover to avoid getting hit and to heal. Run out when you think it's safe, and that's basically when you think that the Crystal Sage isn't firing at you. You are, of course, like we did just there, free to take out the decoy Crystal Sages. That'll help you, in this case, Having taken that one out means we're not getting fired on from behind us and to our right. So that makes this a safe area. Same idea no matter where you are. You should have a plan of uh, attack and also a plan of retreat, which is a good idea. If something goes wrong, you should know where to run to get safe for a little while and heal. But eventually, you will make it to the end. Find the real Crystal Sage enough and kill her until she's dead.